Great job, guys. We're here today shooting a wedding with the Canon Cinema EOS C100. The cameras we're using today have been upgraded with the new dual pixel CMOS AF upgrade. It has smooth, accurate autofocus that you can really rely on. This factory installed extra cost option utilizes the existing Super 35mm sensor. I've been shooting with the C100 for about a year now. Before that, I was shooting with the Canon 5D Mark II. But when I moved the C100, not only did I get a much better image quality, I got the professional tools I needed. Peaking, waveform monitors, ND, better LCD, viewfinder, among a million other things. And now with this new feature upgrade, it's gotten a lot better. Be able to track subjects smoothly and naturally. Be able to have your one-shot autofocus and always make sure you're in focus so when you're up at the ceremony and you're filming the bride and groom, you can quickly check that because it's almost twice as fast as it used to be. Shooting events is really difficult. One, you have a very long, hard day. It's very important for me to not have a lot of weight with me because if you're carrying a lot of big gear, you're gonna move slow and it's gonna make you miss shots and you're gonna be a lot more tired at the end of the day. I have very small, Kessler Stealth Travel slider. It's about two and a half feet long, and you're able to get in very tight places and get very elegant, smooth movements with that. I also use what's called a Glidecam 4000 HD. Um, that gets really great tracking shots. And we also use the Movi today, which is the new generation of stabilizers. And those stabilizers are gonna allow you to get very perfect movements with tracking people, and you're not gonna have to have nearly as much skill as it takes to master a Steadicam or a Glidecam. When the groom was getting ready today, he was adjusting his tie. And I saw a really cool shot there where I could get a close up, have him turn, he looked in the mirror, I was able to then swing my camera over, unlock my focus, and it would focus on him in the mirror. We have a nice medium shot. So it's a really cool two shot piece, but it would have been very difficult to rack that myself. The way AF lock works, you simply press the assignable button to hold your locking point, thereby making it possible to change framing while maintaining the same focus position or by pressing it again and getting a new focus mark with a smooth, natural transition. With this upgrade, you get very stable and accurate focus. It reduces the hunting and searching, so it locks on right where you need to be. It's just like having a focus point. Today when I was in the bride's room, I was able to capture the shot I was never able to do before. I like to position them by a window. We have nice natural light coming in. Um, but I also want to shoot about 45 degrees or more off of that light source so we have nice sculpting light on her face. So when I was able to set it to continuous autofocus, stand about 15 feet away from the bride, and I was zoomed in to about 35 millimeters, I did a really cool push in all the way up to about two feet away from her and then a semicircle around her face, and it was perfect and beautiful. You get very smooth and natural focus action because this camera utilizes both phase detection and contrast autofocus technology. So when you're shooting a wedding and you're trying to make a wedding film, you're always looking for cool, creative shots. And as you see the day unfold, you're taking those normal, kind of basic things that happen, but you're also putting a twist on them. And that's why we use a lot of the tools we do is the sliders and the glide cams and the movies. And it helps us tell the story in a much more captivating way. Take for instance when the groom was leaving from getting ready and he was walking to the chapel. And I used the glide cam for that sequence. And by walking with him, I was able to run with it upside down, get a shot of his feet, spin it back around. We had a nice medium shot of him walking. That whole time I was on continuous autofocus and basically tracking him the entire time. It's a really awesome feature and I love the way it works with the glide cam. The one-shot autofocus really came in handy today. Uh, one shot during the bride prep that was really cool was when the bride was looking at her final look. Uh, makeup had just been finished and she wanted to take a look at it. So she pulled up a little mirror to see herself and I racked focus from her face to one shot focus on the mirror. The thing that's really difficult about that is that mirror is very small and so I was able to target just that spot in the center of the frame to focus right onto the bride's reflection. So we're getting ready now to shoot the ceremony, and so I wanted to walk you guys through the setup that I use. We have the Canon C100 right here next to me, we also have an identical one on the other side of the aisle. 
Uh, the C100 has a 7200 lens, allows us to get very close in on those side angles of the bride and groom. We have the Canon C300 with the 135, it gives us a nice medium to medium close up shot. In the back, you'll see we have a Canon DSLR, the 70D. It's equipped with dual pixel AF and also makes it really great with the cinema EOS cameras. On the 70D, we have an 18 to 135 STM lens that is great for autofocus, has a beautiful motor, so it's very quick and no sound comes through when you're actually using it. Even if you don't have a glide cam or a Mobi or any other kind of stabilization device, you still have to track shots. A bride walking down an aisle is a very difficult shot to rack focus. But with the AF upgrade, we are able to easily track her all the way down the aisle, perfectly in focus, both her and her dad. Join the ceremony and you're shooting the bows and you're on a long lens, you're always guessing, is it in focus, is it not in focus? The one shot AF gives you peace of mind. You press it, the box turns green, you know you're in focus. It's that simple. When the couple has their kiss and they leave the ceremony with that exit, you have one chance. Today I used the Moby and I had it on continuous autofocus. I tracked them out at multiple focal lengths using the zoom lens. So I had a wide as they kissed and started walking out I zoomed in and then captured them in a medium shot walking all the way out past their guests. The autofocus tracked them perfectly the entire time, didn't miss a beat, and now I have the perfect shot on the first try. Shooting the couple session is, is always a difficult moment because generally you have five to 10 minutes to get all these really cool shots. I was using the Movi a lot, which I had the remote handle on, I had the AF lock, so I was able to lock it and unlock it multiple times to change my framing and get the shot I wanted. I have a two camera setup when I shoot the first dance. One's on a glide cam, it's the wide creative angle. We use both a 24 and a 35 millimeter lens. The second camera I have set up is on a tripod and it'll have the 70 to 200. So that way you have a nice zooming range to work with. So you can really get a lot of shots quickly by using both the AF lock and the continuous autofocus. I hope you guys learned a lot today about shooting events as well as the new dual pixel CMOS AF feature upgrade. It's a really cool thing and I hope you check it out. Thanks for watching. After all this time, there's not a single day that goes by where I'm not 